My name is David Crocker. My title is Vice President of Operations. I have been here for 40 years, which makes me pretty well the oldest, only by a month, the longest employee here. Um, I started out as an engineer here designing the automated equipment that we use in the process. The wood is coming from several different sources. We're either buying a pre-cut 17 inch long, one inch square, or hickory boards that then we dice up and chop up the squares. Unfortunately, wood has the property that it expands and contracts with moisture change. So we want to have very accurate kiln drying to minimize motion down the road. So the first step is to produce a straight dowel. We then start sorting for quality. We inspect for straightness, we inspect for weight. Very crooked wood winds up in the boiler. Very straight wood can now be made into a drumstick. If it wiggles a 30 second, less than a 30 second of an inch, it's okay to go right straight to sticks. It then goes through a grading inspection process, which is probably the most critical process that we have. The sticks are then trimmed for length, for the particular style. Then they go to this abrasive grinding process. That's where the stick is actually shaped into a drumstick. All the sticks have, a, have an initial tumble finishing step where they're either, if it's a clear stick, they're tumbled and they're done. Colored sticks go through a dipping operation to dip on the color. Then they go through final inspection. And then is when they get shipped to the other building. In the other building, they go through one of several different processes to put the, uh, the logo on. They then are sorted for weight into weight two gram weight categories. Then each weight category is sorted for tone into like a quarter to a third of a tone, five or six cycles per second. Then, even though they have a batch that all weighs the same and sounds the same, there's a rough color match done for the pairs. They are sleeved, bar-coated, shrink-wrapped into bricks, and packed into boxes. Separate from that, you have the mallet production process where you're preparing a little skinny handle, gluing on a ball, and then going through the hand operations to sew the heads. That's the basic way it works.